Hello everyone, this is Prasad. Today's topic is SAP FPSL, SAP Financial Product for Subledger. Let's unbox it. Today we will cover various aspects of SAP FPSL. We will start with what is SAP FPSL and we'll try to bring in some perspective from business side and technology side of how and what SAP FPSL is. We will talk about enterprise architecture perspective. As an enterprise architect, so what are the different things that you should keep in mind when you try to consider SAP FPSL for your organization? We will look at integration architecture perspective of SAP FPSL. As an integration architect, how you can integrate SAP FPSL into your current plans. From the performance side, we will have a brief look at a use case that's been developed by Google Cloud and SAP FPSL to see how SAP FPSL can handle huge volumes of data. From the opportunity side, we will look at how one can get into SAP FPSL space. At the end, we will see how SAP FPSL fits into Gartner's magic water. What is SAP FPSL? It's a comprehensive subledger system to keep track of all the financial transactions in any financial institution. This component is mainly used by banks, insurance, reinsurance and other financial institutions. It's a co-innovation project between SAP and Swissri. The first version got released in 2019. Before FPSL, SAP had bank analyzer and insurance analyzer components. There are two variants of SAP FPSL. One is for banking industry, the other one is for insurance industry. If you are coming from a banking industry, then you should look at FPSL for banking, which has out of the box support for IFRS 9 and US CAP regulatory reporting. If you are coming from the insurance industry, then you should look at FPSL for insurance, which support IFRS 17 and US CAP LDTI regulation. The main advantage of using SAP FPSL is the out of the box support for IFRS 9 and IFRS 17 regulatory reporting. This component supports out of the box templates for IFRS 9 and IFRS 17 regulatory reporting. The main difference between SAP Insurance Analyzer and SAP FPSL is the underlying accounting engine technology. Insurance Analyzer uses classical AFI engine and SAP FPSL uses smart AFI engine. AFI stands for Accounting for Financial Instruments. Let's look at some technology aspects of SAP FPSL. As you can see, SAP FPSL has different layers. The source data layer, subledger accounting layer, result data. SAP FPSL runs on S4 HANA, which is a SAP's in-memory database technology. SAP FPSL comes with streamlined data model, which supports high volumes of data. SAP also provides standard query reports out of the box. To integrate SAP FPSL with a general ledger system, SAP provides a standard GL connector. With this GL connector, you can integrate SAP FPSL with SAP general ledger. With SAP FPSL, SAP provides standard SAP Fury reports out of the box. As an enterprise architect, you might consider SAP FPSL for one of the below requirements. If your organization is planning for a big financial transformation project and targeting consolidation of enterprise-wide data for reporting analytics, or if your company is looking for decommissioning old legacy systems to reduce operational expenses, or if you're looking for a solution for regulatory reporting, or perhaps if you're planning for a data consolidation project to consolidate data for different legacy systems, SAP FPSL might be an option as an enterprise architect you can consider because SAP FPSL comes with out-of-the-box templates for regulatory reporting and the lean data model that can support huge volumes of data. If you look at the insurance industry's business capability map, we have various business capabilities such as policy management, claims, risk management and underwriting. To establish a subledger system, we need to fetch, transform and aggregate technical bookings into subledger documents. This kind of data transformation needs good data design, a lean data model, and a process engine that can scale with data. SAP FPSL comes with out-of-the-box features to support large volumes of data and standard templates for 
regulatory reporting. When you are planning to integrate SAP FPSL into your current landscape, you need to consider various aspects of interfacing technologies. As these interfaces should support huge volumes of data, SAP offers out of the box DDL data loading layer, which is a business warehouse technology that works as an ATL framework to handle data from ingestions to abstraction. If you already have SAP FSDM, Financial Services Data Management component, you can use the same for data syndication and federation. As a standard approach, you can also use Odata Services or JCO Java Connector for loading data into FPSL. Let's have a brief look at ETL layer of SAP FPSL. As you can see, we extract the data from various data sources and load the data into DDL layer, which will take care of extraction, transformation, and loading of data into relevant data sets. After this, we start the valuation process using CVPM processes. SAP GL Connector this is the out-of-the-box component which would enable SAP FPSL to post subledger documents into SAP GL system. This component handles mapping and translation of subledger documents to general ledger documents. GL Connector works with SAP PO component and uses ABAP proxies to extend the data. Let's talk about performance aspects of SAP FPSL. When it comes to subledger postings, the system needs to withstand huge volumes of data as the granularity of financial transactions is very deep. To support large corporations, SAP FPSL should be scalable both vertically and horizontally. There is a case study published jointly by SAP and Google Cloud which claims that SAP was able to cope up with huge volumes of transactions. For example, the proof of concept that they have done managed to handle 12 billion transactions in SDL layer and an estimated 200 billion subledged items for end of the year accounting. Well, when a new software is released into the market, there is always curiosity and dilemma about how and who can learn the software. I just want to quickly provide some details about this topic. If you are already a SAP FICO consultant or you have a rich accounting background or you have solid banking or insurance background, you can get into SAP FPSL as a functional consultant. If you want to enter into SAP FPSL programming space, then it's better you already have a bit of ABAP and ANA programming experience. In the reporting area, if you know SAP BW or have some experience with SAP Fury, you can enter into SAP FPSL reporting space. Let's now see what Gartner thinks about SAP Cloud Fitment. As you can see, SAP HANA Cloud is already an industry leader sharing with Oracle Cloud and Workday. I am not really sure what Oracle has in the subledger system. If you know, let me know in the comment section. So, this is the final slide in the unboxing of SAP FPSL. Hope you liked the video. Let me know if you have any comments. Thank you.